Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series, and this is a rare occasion where I'm actually recording further in advance. I try to record on a weekly basis for this um, series because it updates so much, but with all with the moving and everything, which I've mentioned in a announcement thing <laughs> um, previously, but uh, the move should be getting... Uh, like, we should actually be moving house soon. Again, recording in the future, so that's only if everything goes to plan. Which has not been the case often with this move, so <laughs> who knows. Either way, I'm trying to just give myself a little bit of a room when it comes to the channel, so. Well, recording in advance, sorry if there was an update and I don't cover it right away. Granted, last episode I didn't check for the change log. And it looks like I might have missed something. So we're looking at uh, the changelog that I should have looked at previously. So, some minor tweaks to the UI. Adjust some family secret rewards. Further balancing will be happening. Fix for creeping vines crashing in combat if the hag dies before it reaches the player the first time it is used. Hmm. Fix for the fishing rod sometimes not being obtainable after the end of the summer. Ooh, that would suck. <laughs> Fix for a certain mail appearing automatically in the archive. This retroactively fixes existing saves with the problem. I have seen a lot of that being reported in the bugs. Adjust secrets in chat system to exhaust all potential information before falling back to lines stating that there are no more info to find. At least for right now. Oh, that's nice. Toggling follow for animals no longer rises the relationship. Oh, didn't realize that was happening. Face shop owners go straight into selling when interacting with. So I assume that's like the one in Tirnanog. Like you did, used to have to go through like the normal menu like everyone else, so maybe just it'll go straight to the store now. Prevent explanations from appearing on wanderers. I wonder if that means like a wanderer might give you a quest and then you can't ever complete it because they probably only exist briefly and then a new one would appear kind of a deal. Alright. So there. Change luck. <laughs> uh, I did not want to start. Oh. Maybe it was just showing me everything in the in here. Letter from Twig, letter from Ash. Okay, so I don't know that we ever saw this. I'm at a request of your company in Cuckooid for an exciting adventure. I'll be there every day from dawn to dusk until I have cracked this most enticing of enigmas. So yeah, I don't know if we saw that. We just found him in our task list. Uh, meter at the Henge. Again, I don't know if we ever read this. All right, good. Any of these? Alright, blue bobs still. Lots of blue bobs around here. Get- oh wait, no. Cancel. How are you? Gift. Yeah. I don't know what I just gifted actually. <laughs> Secret. Uh, Jeffrey really doesn't like Porchop. We're learning about a lot of things he doesn't like. Garden looks well watered. That's good. Sibling. How are you? Gift. An apple. A secret. Jeremy Smith really doesn't like sterling button moss stew. That's fine. I don't know how to make that. Let's get this guy. Don't need it. Oh dear. That seems to be a problem at the moment. As soon as you interact with this, it still counts it as clicking when the stars pop up, so it filters. Let's grab our cabbage and these carrots, and then I think down below are some. There's wheat that I can get. Yep. Wait. All right, and then calendar. Make a recipe. Okay. Oh wow, there's really nothing on the calendar today. That uses tomato. We don't have a whole lot of that. We could grab some water and or milk. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get some milk anyway have on us and then I might switch that out and fill another one. Raining. There we go. So we'll have honey on us. Or milk. I was just thinking if I wanted to grab honey. Uh, but we'll always have milk for gifting and stuff. And then let's fill these two up with some water. We'll go ahead and make this stew. Alright. Start cooking. Uh, 
I didn't cook the water long enough before adding in the carrot. I made a recipe. Start, please. I probably shouldn't have filled all my jars. How am I going to catch anything now? Ooh, new one. All right, let's stop out all the water. Be gone. I have a bug to catch. The wood flapper. Clit. How's it going, twig? Have we caught any of these? I guess it's green if we have. All right, we got those. So we need to find minnow and bluefish. I can't use this. Still, I'm gonna say that I. As much as I want the travel home, I do think I need the fairy paths. Ooh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, let go. I want this one. The spelling bee. Honey bee. Oh, oh, come here, come here, come here. What kind of bee is this one? The heebie jeebie. Hey! Turned on a little lantern. Do not have that many gassy apples, I don't think. Maybe we'll do this. We need some money. I guess since he's afraid to go into the mines, it would be hard for him to get to ore. Is it you who needed it? Yes. Greetings, gift. Oh, that's almost all of our stuff. There you go. Gossip. Some fellow up in Pinehaven claims that he saw the sacked witch running around during a storm. It was the same night that old Annie Cap vanished. Huh! <gasps> Scary. Oh, Isaiah doesn't hate us. That's kind of a surprise. Peppy! Hey, buddy! Oh, I have milk! I have milk! Here you go. Very generous of you. Where are we at? Oh, we're still neutral. Get there, though. We would work on uh, make it so people didn't hate me. Something about the song for this area that really reminds me of like one of my favorite games from my childhood. Uh, it was the Dark Cloud series, and I don't know what what it is about this song that reminds me of it, but it does. I'm very nervous about Summertide. It has not been giving off good energy for sure. All right, let's head to bed. Hello there. Your sibling seems a bit molding earlier. They've gone for a walk in Northgate to clear the old head fog. Maybe go see what's the matter. First time they've left the farm. Always been a bit cold that one. Hard working and loyal but just a little closed. Not like you at all really. Well we're, we're siblings not the same person we will be different. So we've seen that one. Seen that one. Uh, seen that one. All right Jacob left us a note. Hello young one. I feel a bit awkward writing this, but last night I had a dream where a giant rabbit visited me. It told me all about you and the things to come. It is summertime tomorrow, and I may get chosen to be the herald. I just wanted you to have a little gift that I kept locked up in an old ruined tower at the bottom corner of the burial grounds. You have a great future ahead of you. Okay. The key to the cemetery tower. Find the matching padlock. Okay. Sibling! Where are you at? Are you up here by the uh, exit? Ooh. You bug. No, no, no. Okay. Can't believe it's not Butterfly. Sibling? Yep. Ah, you came. I was just feeling very wistful and was thinking about our real parents. Do you think they were out there somewhere? Flitting around or snuggled up in a burrow somewhere. I want to leave this place as soon as I reach adulthood. I find the veil is too backwards and enclosed. I feel suffocated here. I hope you will come with me and we can be who we want to be and live how we want to live. And when the goddess call for us, we will gladly go to them and run around the fields as their children, happy and free. I best get back to the farm. So the sibling wants to go off and explore. You could stay and be a farmer the rest of your life if you want, but not me. Okay. I support you, Sidley. Just don't hate me. <laughs> Do we have tasks for today? Besides seeing our sibling? No. 
Though I think we're supposed to meet... Supposed to meet Twig tonight. But maybe we should go to the burial grounds and see what's in that tower. A note. In secret glades of Tirnanog, little sap seeps from arcane logs. I don't think I've ever found it in Tirnanog. Ah, that moon is so pretty. Let's grab this. Uh, no. I want that. There we go. Monument stone. God, I haven't spent much time here. Time to put bad stinks to rest. You'll always smell your best. Oh, tower. Uh, let's get a lantern going. So there's a thing over there, but let's read this first. In Mellow Gardens, it is said, Ginger Rogers in its bed. Uh, oh! That's a lot of coin. Thanks. I guess. Still we're taking that money, but I guess he told us to. Aha! I've mapped the region. A new high score! Aha! Quite the end. Uh, high score. Started figuring out where I needed to aim before throwing. Uh... Unlocked prizes one through three. Yes! Alright. So that means we've got ourselves our magic bean, the loot not found in crates, and best of all, the rain stick. Haha! Alright. That was a good, good thing to pass time. I'm basically just trying to get it so that it's tomorrow. Yeah, 11 hours of sleep. Come on, wake up! Big day today. All veiled vale cheer, summertide is here. Blessings be on you this great day. Every ten years we gather on the green and make offerings to our beloved Druida. Come, it is time to keep our appointment with the Woodfellow. Oh? Oh dear. Welcome, good folk of the Vale, summertide is here. Cheers from the crowd. This glorious day is when Druda, goddess of the Vale, stands above all others and opens her arms to our humble offerings. The day we celebrate the end of the season of the sun and ask our mistress to grant us her blessing so that we can taste the fruitful harvests of her warm embrace. Look at everybody here. We've even got little babies and everything. Hail the queen of the orchard. As Druda watches over us, her love will bring growth. It will starve. It will stave off hunger. It will protect us from disease and from the cold winters to come. Now, let us speak the summertide prayer. O oh, goddess of the orchards, the tide of the summer fades. Bestow your fruits on we who offer our thanks. We of Vale, we of Quill. We who bow to Druida's will, the seeds of summertide step forth and prepare for the choosing. As you know, only one may present our tributes to Druida. Only one may be chosen for the greatest honor in the Vale. Now, as is our custom, let the gaze of Druida fall upon the Arbiter. Ah. Uh, Druida has chosen one of the twins. Oh, glorious day. Tell us, child, which one shall be our summertide herald? Eh? Um. Ginger nut? I guess? Crowd cheers. Very well. Step into the wood, fellow herald. You leave this life a blessed soul, ready to take our offerings to Opal, where you will feel Druida's embrace. Um. Bathe in her purifying light, oh glory to the goddess. They're gone, and they made you choose. I don't believe it. I don't either. I thought things were going to be alright here, but everything he said was true. Oh, he's out. Uh, did I just murder somebody? 
I was a little nervous that was the case, which is why I went with Hazel. Because uh, she's just like, she always talks about being really sad and lonely. Whereas Jacob has like, he's he's caring for the, the graveyard. So I don't know. <laughs> that feels terrible. All right. Uh, hey, uncle. Your sibling did not take that very well, but you did beautifully. They will get over it and realize that it was the natural order of things. It is the way of our world. Do not worry about them. Probably just gone somewhere to reflect. I, I am worrying about them. Well, let's check the garden, I guess. I can't believe we've murdered somebody. So if we look in here, at least a hazelnut. I don't see your mom. Nah. It's my birthday. And my sibling's birthday. Oh, I didn't get to give him anything. I wonder where he's at. This is a terrible birthday. <laughs> to... To be or not to be. <laughs> Alright, well, not really. Greetings. How are you? Feeling better now. There's a strawberry. Secret. Jumbo's like sterling button moss stew. That's unfortunate for him. I don't know how to make it. I wonder how those two were chosen. Hey old Jacob. I'll be honest, I was scared. I am glad you didn't choose me. I think living near the graves of ancient religions has affected me. I hope I don't get cursed for saying that. I was trying to go down to um, Ginger's house to see if it looked any different. Should I give him back his money? <laughs> I think it was like, have the money, I'm about to die. Um, but he didn't die, so... Pebbly Hill. So if we interact with this... No one. Item permission granted. I guess it's because nobody... Nobody lives here? <laughs> oh, very strange. I don't like the wood man. He eats people. <laughs> what if siblings at Northgate? Since you went here last time to think. Ah, stay away from me. No. I'm going to sleep. Ah, yes. We do know this. What, what's going on here? We catch what's around Twig. A window smacker. I don't think that's what's around him. <laughs> Nothing to collect. Okay. Twig, twig, twiggle, lady. <laughs> Mister Fairweather is waiting for thee. Oh, you must be bursting with excitement. Not many get to meet a proper fay. I don't know if I'm excited. Well, what is that? Now follow them fairy lights and I'll dream hop myself to the crossroads in Gerudo's Cross to the south and meet you there. Alright. So we can't really interact with the world, like we can't grab strawberries and stuff. Are you awake or are you asleep? Well, here's something you'll be wanting to keep. A gift for Mr. Weather himself. It's a really special lantern called the Obscura, and it lets you see things that aren't normally that are normally hidden to those without true sight. Let's just pop that there glass lens of yours in it. Exciting. But don't stop now. Keep following the fairies, and I'll see you at the southeast corner of Testy Acres. Uh, Obscura. So is that another item? Yeah. Dang it! I still miss the time where uh, they were the same. <laughs> I guess we don't need whistle root. We're all just strands in a great ball of twine, but your wishes will come true deep in that mine. I've got the key for you here. Just follow the fairies all the way to the first mine you come to in Crumble Chalk. Okay. Here you are in the right place at the right time. No more listening to daft twig rhyme. Now go on and shrine, shine the obscura onto the big stones while you're standing on the circle. 
Move the beam around until it opens a door. Mr. Further Fairweather waits on the other side with gifts and treasures you can't imagine. But be careful what you wish for. You have something else to say? No. Okay. On our circle. Hit this guy. Wow. Look at the stars. Ah, the good old fair weather realm. I'm so pleased you came to join me again. Now that you have seen the true shadow, what true shadows look like, you have seen what a farce the world of humans is. Forcing a child to choose a sacrifice. What small-minded, pitiful creatures they are. But not you. With you begins a lineage that will accomplish wonders. A dynasty that will achieve complete mastery over all things. And all it takes is a seed. The kin seed. Once it flowers, you will be bonded to its magic and, though you may succumb to it, the irresistible cull of the grave, you will live on in your progeny, each generation stronger than the last. Your spirit will be stronger than any quill has ever seen before. But first, you must agree to a contract. A mere formality, I assure you. By taking kin ownership of the Kinseed, you agree to the stipulations of this contract. The Kinseed will allow you to see and speak to all things Fae and grow your family tree. Your children will carry on your legacy, as, and as your tree grows, so does your power. Once planted, the contract begins. You may uproot the Kinseed and pass it to any of your children who are of age and can become them, thus continuing your bloodline. In return for the Kinseed, you agree that on the day of your 60th birthday, you will willingly give your body to Mr. Fairweather, and every heir who inherits the Kinseed must do the same. If you have no heirs to pass the Kinseed to, you will be offered an orphan to take your place. If you die before your time, Fairweather agrees to revive you at the cost of one year of your life. This contract is binding once the Kinseed is planted, and a minimum term of a thousand years. The initial cost of the Kinseed is five years of your life, payable up front. Life tax is payable at the end of each human calendar year. Signed, Mr. Fairweather. Splendid! Then our covenant's covenant is in place. Now you must plant the seed by the growing s glowing stone you'll find at the farm you call home. Its roots will be your roots, and it will flower many times, just as your family will. But that is not my only gift to, to you tonight. You have already experienced what drudge drudge, jury, and hard work life can bring, and these trinkets can ease your burden. You may choose one of them now, though you will be able to call upon me in the future if you wish to trade for more. In any case, I will pay you a visit as midnight strikes at the end's year to collect my modest fee for any services rendered. Until next time, my child. I'm going with this one. Are you sure? Travel via routeways. Bring sick bag. Oh, we're an adult. I appreciate it just going straight to adulthood. <laughs> zero brass to collect, zero tasks for the day. Oh, our siblings here. Is that- is that you? I can't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? What do you mean, you don't know? You've been gone for five years. You left us. Left me without saying a word. We could have run away together, but you just disappeared. Just abandoned me. You're not making any sense. I tried looking for you at first, but Uncle Bill made sure I always came back. Don't want to- didn't want to lose me too. Then he started getting sick and I had to stay and look for him. After him. Somebody had to. You believed in us. All we wanted was to make you proud. Perhaps you will both find each other in the woods and run together. I will join you one day. Thank you for everything you did for us. May the waters take you well. Goddesses bless you. After that, it was my turn to leave. There was no point sticking around. Only reason I came here today was because it's my birthday. Our birthday. And I thought... I don't know what I thought. And I more wanted to see this place again. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it. 
what's left of it. I'll be in town for a while, maybe see what's going on at the Festival Green these days. You know, if you want to say goodbye before I leave, oh and happy birthday. What a turn of events. Willow Down Farm is now yours. You'll be able to raise a family here and use it as your base of operations. For now though, head to the big pond on your farm and plant the conceit above it on the overlook. You can always leave the veil if you wish. You are now of age, so feel free to explore the world beyond. Autumn is here. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. I think I won't. At least my sibling doesn't completely hate me. I'm not planting that conceit yet. Gonna go make sure I see my sibling first. Oh, Pot. Well met again, dreaming one. Name is Pot. We call our fun. One I once asked you questions deep long ago when you were asleep. Now you met the winter lard? Lord? Lord. He's not so bad, but were you scared? The answers given have shaped your way and led us to this tragic day. Your uncle passed and sibling gone, but show true grit and try be strong. I am now your homely friend, will dust the hearth and beds to mend. Come see me when you need direction, Tax tasks I have a fine selection, and check your mailbox for a special letter, who knows it might make you better. So off I go, but don't forget to pay, just put grubbins out each day. Don't forget or I'll be mad and there'll be many jinxes to be had. Now go out and never tarry, find a warm sweet soul to marry. Raise fairborns and plant your seed till your name is finally freed. Thanks, Mr. Pot. I have places to be, though. I don't want to talk to you, Twig. You did tell me I was going to lose everything. I'm stopping in town to make sure I buy... Uh... Food. Quick, before a sibling leaves. I used to think this is why you ran away. Because of what happened here at that summertime festival. Now it turns out it was fairy magic that took you. But it was still your decision, wasn't it? That's how it works with the Fae. You have to be the one who says yes. I'm going to stay here a while. It's spelled wrong. Uh, and just clear my head. Please leave me be. Um. Happy birthday? Quite generous, I suppose. It just dislikes us. About time. I wonder if we'll be able to interact with them again. Saw a new letter in the mailbox. Yeah, I heard about that. Alright. Uh, bye. I guess. A letter from Fairweather. Greetings once again. It was but five years since our pleasant introduction. Now you are of age and ready to forge your name in history. Do not worry yourself over the passing of family. More will come and you will doubtless be reunited. I took thought of your answer to those questions asked by our energetic friend, Pot, and have a small gift for you to help you on your path, even if just a fraction. Until our next meeting, Fairweather. Uh, a gift of friendship. R Ruby Pendant. Huh. Ah, our king. Gift of friendship. So it doesn't really say anything else about it. Well, that's been quite the episode. <laughs> I think... I think I'm gonna head to bed. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It was a lot. We got to see the end of the new introduction, which is very different. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.